And guys, the longer this sits, the more the meat soaks up yeah. all the flavors of every ingredient. Even even if you put it on the fridge until the next day, even it tastes better. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Kinilao. Kinilao. <laughs> Yeah, you have to do it. You're the one who do it. No. I was going to prepare the ingredients and you can, you can see this is the ingredients. Ginger. Mga ingredients lang to. So that's ginger right there? Yeah, finely chopped. Ginger. Onion. Maybe just half of the onion. All right guys, I am at my parents' house and this is the video that I've been really excited to show you guys. I've been wanting uh, to document my dad's recipes for a really long time and finally we get to do that and we are going to start with Guinilao or kilawin. It's basically Filipino ceviche. So hopefully you guys can try this out yourselves. It's a recipe that I think is really good. It's essentially raw perch. Again, it's the Filipino version of ceviche. So, so far he's gotten uh, onions and he's gotten his ginger all dialed in. How's it looking, Dad? This one. Special ingredients. <laughs> so we'll say he has some pepperoncinis right there. Yeah, about Look at those. Four five. So while he's getting that done, just wanted to let you guys know this is the house that I pretty much grew up in. Uh, it's always good to come back here. I work about three blocks away, so it's really awesome uh, that they're so close and uh, I get to invite my dad fishing every now and then, whether it's trout, perch, striped bass. What else have we caught, Dad? Yeah, everything. As long as it's good to eat. That's right. If it's good to eat, and that's that's why another reason I decided to change this channel from Bent Rod Syndrome, which I started with Jesse White, and that's a whole other great story. Uh, but Hook to Cook is the whole idea of uh, sustainable eating and uh, living. I mean, eating fish is probably the healthiest uh, type of meat. So today, I am going to start documenting some of my dad's great recipes. So right now he's chopping up the pepperoncinis, really nice. I've always wanted to put subtitles in a, in one of my videos. This so. is the lemon. Organic lemon from his lemon tree. What's the secret to getting your lemon so juicy? A lot of water. What else? Uh, water from when you clean the fish. Get that water and put it on your lemon tree. And get a lot of lemon. That's my grandma over there. Doesn't she look beautiful? <laughs> this is a good time. Let me just uh, put a cut to this really quick. Enjoy some of these catches because what you're about to see uh, are perch that my dad's going to cook right now. Well, not really cook. He's going to prepare because it's a raw fish recipe. So my dad's been catching slabs all day. Slabs, all day. Old school methods, they work. Yeah. Oh my God, he got another one. <laughs> my dad just killing it. He just got it. I told him one more cast because we we're heading out and he gets another one. How's this one feel? Not bad. Not bad? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> That's small compared to the other ones. <laughs> yeah, the other ones. Those are other bigger. ones are giant. But that on any other day. That's that's a giant one. On any yeah, other day. on any other day you'd be like, oh my gosh, I caught a slab. And now we're back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. Uh, if you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe if you want to see some really good fishing action. We got a lot more in store.
back to the Kilawin. Kinilao. That's how you say it. So what's that, Dad? It's the big perch from fishing. Right there. See how big that one? Oh, that's nice. Fresh one. Oh, yeah. So you took all the bones out, already skinned it, ready to go. So that is fresh perch that we caught in my last video. So the full feature length video is one of my latest posts. It's under Monster Winter Surf Perch. So you guys uh, can catch that video after you see this recipe. What's that? Uh, cucumber. This is uh, optional. If you don't want this, you can. You don't have to pour it. But as far as we like it, we pour it in. Probably the second freshest ingredient next to the fish. So again, to recap, lemon juice, peppercinis, ginger, onion, cucumber, and perch. What's next? Do we have any more? Are you looking for mustard? Mustard. Oh no! Yeah, but okay. Mustard's gonna have to be optional. Yeah. Here, that guy's mustard is optional. This one. What is that? Vinegar. Vinegar. Is this some sort of special one? Yep. Datu puti. Yeah, it's about like uh, uh, same amount as uh, the one lemon juice. And of course, salt. So tell us a quick story. How did you learn how to cook? Uh, it's a long story. But what you can do is just do it. Whatever you think it's good, do it. Don't be afraid of cooking. Nobody will complain except yourself. If you don't like it, then nobody will like it. If you like it, then everybody will like it. That's all. Easy. Then slice this one. Nice. Nice, nice. So I think one of the biggest reasons surf perch tastes so good is because their main forage when they're in the ocean is sand crabs. And typically when a certain animal eats only one thing or a main source of their diet is one thing, their meat tends to taste uh, like that item that they forage on. And since sand crabs taste like crabs, their meat is actually really close to the texture and taste of crab. So that's one of the special qualities that I think perch have. That's a lot of, lot of meat for that one for a second. How big that one is. That was the one that weighed two, two pounds, 12 ounces, huh? Yeah. Did you get a length on it? How, how much did it, how long was it? I, I didn't measure it. When I was reeling it, oh, it's, I can feel it's that big. Very big. I said, oh, it's good. This is good fish right here. <laughs> you can fit your family on this one already. One last piece, huh? One last piece. So you cut it in half once, just so that you can get about two inch strips or mm -hmm. really thinly sliced. Looks like the rule of thumb is bite-sized pieces so that you can get about two or three pieces of meat on your fork. So is that all the ingredients? That's all. So it's a very simple recipe, huh? So my dad is the youngest of a family of seven, right? Seven kids? Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times he would be left at home and he would have to cook for himself. He would have to cook for his family. Ginger for the man. Hot chili pepper for the man. Lemon juice for the man. Vinegar. That's about that much. What is it? For the man. Cucumber. For the man. 
salt according to taste. <laughs> Now, how long do you let it marinate in there? Uh, maybe 30 minutes and put it in the fridge. Oh. Yeah, you can put mayonnaise in here too if you want. So just like the Spanish ceviche, there's a lot of different variations that you can do on this. My mom was just talking about adding coconut juice to it. So there's a lot of different things. So if it, coconut milk. So there's different ways to prepare this, but this is uh, my dad's style. The only thing that's lacking is mustard. He likes putting mustard in it. Nice. Look at that. You wanna taste it, Edward? You're the sampler. All right. I'm gonna try it. Then tell me if salt is not enough. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is kinilaw. Kinilaw. <laughs> it's fresh perch, cucumber, pepper, and onion and ginger. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything in this one bite. So I got a little bit of the fish, a little bit of the um, pepperoncini, cucumber. Oh, that looks that looks amazing. So again, it's Filipino ceviche. So let me know in the comments below if you've either had this or you would actually try it. Mmm. No, that's really good. But I want salt. It doesn't need more salt. Uh, yeah. Mm-mm. That's good. The fish is really fresh. The cucumber kind of cleanses everything. But then that onion, that that onion really has that undertone behind it all. And then I feel like there's a there's a bit of the sour tang from the pepperoncini that really melds this all together. Um, I don't really taste the mayo at all, but yeah, that lemon and vinegar though, it, it really just caps it all off. So you can really taste and isolate all the ingredients, but they all play nicely together. Mm-hmm. Good job, Dad. Good. That's so good. And guys, the longer this sits, the more the meat soaks up yeah. all the flavors of every ingredient. Even even if you put it on the fridge until the next day, it's even it tastes better. It tastes good. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed making guinea lao. And guys, there's more to come. My dad's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to different recipes. That right there is the look of decades of learning what tastes good and experimenting trials, errors, and successes. Go fish for a fresh one. <laughs> that, that's a secret for, for the kinilo is the fresh, the fresher fish, the better. That's right. Yep. And we gotta go catch some you fresh fish. Catch it and do it right away after you come home. That's right. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have some more fishing in our immediate future and some, some more recipes coming your way. We'll catch you guys later. Mmm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, huh? Mm. Yeah. That's really... Oh. Mmm. 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 Mm. Look who just joined us. Just for this. <laughs> I want to see the unveiling of the movie, but you you did it without me. <laughs> what do you think, honey? It's amazing. I'm gonna get more. It's good. I know I got some spice. So you got like the sweet from like the fish, and you got the, the tangy from like the vinegar. And then you got the spice from the chili. And then you got the cool from the cucumber. Mmm. It's good. All over. Oh, so that kila win was just an appetizer. What do you got going over here? It's a uh, marinated albacore. Fry it. Then the 
the lemon and the things fry it back and that's your your sauce and put some onions on it. All we need is some sticky white rice. Tell me, does that not look amazing? It does look good. Oh, albacore and onions, soy sauce, lemon, olive oil. Ugh.